Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Overall Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of Xenoblade Chronicles. So, last time, we were able to find our way through the Fallen Arm and made our way here to the Makanis Field. And so, um, we reached a point where we needed to activate a switch in order to get ourselves higher up in this field because it appears that it's going to be a very vertical level. Um, after um, taking your guys' comments and looking at them, um, someone said that they were that the spear break ability that Melia needed um, was available from a merchant in the Frontier Village. But I went back and checked the Frontier Village, and it's not there. So I looked up game facts, um, and turns out there are two ways I can get it by further restoring Colony 6, or by going further into a place that we have not yet been to. So, because of that, I'm thinking it's gonna take me a long time to get the items that I need to further um, advance Colony 6, so I'm like, you know what, why don't we just go ahead and move on. Um, also, um, since no one suggested that I sell off my stuff, as far as the materials were concerned, I have gone ahead and gone and sold pretty much everything that did not have an exclamation point next to it. So, it's all gone, my inventory is much lighter now, and I don't have to worry about mulling over, do I hold on to this, do I not hold on to this? I don't have to worry about that anymore. But, let's go ahead and move on. So, we want to go back now to obtain the switch activation in order to get ourselves further up which is by pressing this switch over here and there we go and this will obviously take us higher eventually up we go yeah times for a vertical ascent Right. That's achieved. Location unlocked. We can go down now if we want to. We also have a few options as far as the path we choose. And there's also gonna be obviously stuff blocking the way. Yeah, I really don't want stuff to I don't really don't want my party members to fall to their deaths here. But we do need to move forward. Let's, Let's see if we can draw it in. Nothing short of our very best. I'm gonna go all out. Yeah, because I really hate to have something really bad happen. Also, these guys aren't that bad. Okay, there we go. Past you. Yeah, man, this is so precarious. Oh! I'm gonna go all oh boy, Fiora! Ah! Yeah, how many battles will we need to do on these balance beams? Boom! Yeah, for now. Machina blade. Also, another crucial item. Both the trucks needs two reinforced jets to make the boots. That's both of them, we better get them back to her. Okay. So I'm guessing this is gear that Fiora is going to get at some point, but... Before we get that next item... That's out on the... Pipe. Yeah. I don't want to fall... Because someone was blocking me. So yeah. We'll move everyone back over this way. Yeah. We're taking the precautionary measures here. We're gonna use them as much as we can. Okay, is that above me? It looks like it might be. Can I come up to it? Not from here. Also, how am I managing on the Collectopedia here so far? Yeah, and a few things. And onward. Right, I want to get over there, but I'm gonna have to get through all of these things. 
moist. All right. Let's do this indeed. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Also, I'm really enjoying having Fiora in our party right now for no other reason than the fact that I don't have to worry about her as much as I have to with Ryan. Like, um, Fiora is playing the tank role much better than Ryan ever could. And really? On a regular enemy? And damn, that would be a that would be, be lethal. Not interested in that future. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Well, speaking of tank, yeah. Like, I may not have Ryan in the party, but yeah, he definitely would have been useful in that situation. Alright. Is this a one trick pony? We Let's find lose. out. Good luck, everyone. I expect nothing to do for very best. Here we go. Oh, I got the Monado at my disposal. Oh, good job. Alright, that guy's down. Okay, you're gone. Now we gotta play a chord or two. Thank you very much. Boom, you're dead. Cool. Alright, let's get ourselves up. those. As well as the shiny scarab. It looks, it looks like we may be on the right side of this now. Or it could be above us, maybe. Yeah, I think it's above us. Alright. We got past those things, but we still need to get past you. Right, let's do this. I'm gonna go all out. No See that you do. Alright, come behind. Boom. Whoa! And also, I did notice your friend. Alright. Got a chain available, so I might as well use it. This may be completely pointless, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Load it up. And BAM! Yeah, it turns out we only needed to do the one move. That was enough. But now we're picking up Machina weapons. Do they work the same way as um, the anti um, mechon weapons do? Because we are still using those. And we could theoretically move on to other weapons, but unless we know for certain that the new weapons that we're picking up are capable of serving the same purpose as anti mechon weapons, I'm gonna stick with what I've got. Ow. I'm gonna finish you off. Wham! Yeah, you got you got owned, buddy. Uh, we'll leave that till later. Alright. Sleek oil. Which I did give some that um to um I did give that to Riki to wear. So he is wearing one of those. And we have now pulled everything to level up here, so we are able to go this way, it seems. We can also go down if we want, but I don't think that's going to be really necessary unless there's something worthwhile. Uh, could be. Let's not climb down there. Ooh, that's a troll section. Yeah, that's a troll section! Yeah, want to follow your, follow your death? Use this. And also, I was right that these climbing points do link to each other. It re it affirms what I thought. 
Might as well run to get the thing over here. And the Scarlet Crawler. Keep running. And get the safety. Now. Well, you're in the neighborhood, so I might as well get you too. Everyone, let's go! Behold the power right. of the Monado! Oh, we got something else. That's crucial. We need three pieces of this bronze wood. We should take them to her soon. Uh, mocking a sniper. Yeah, all this stuff we're obtaining, but is it worth it? Is it worth the uh, time and effort? Well, obviously it is if you're willing to make the commitments. But I need to focus on what's in front of me here. So you can go around here. That's what I thought. Make our way over to here. Senator activation panel. Alright. Get that going. And then we gotta go. Oh, wait a minute. Um, okay, it's not gonna link us there, but if we go here? Yeah, this is one way to get it done. Oh, it's over there. Then where am I going? Well, why don't we keep climbing and find out? Yeah, I mean, for all, for all it's worth now, it could be considered lost. But I want to see what I can do up here. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Let us hurry onwards. Say we'll li unleash a chain attack. Well, not quite yet. Let's at least go over here and get these guys first. So tired. Well, don't feel that way yet. Still gotta keep exploring this place. And everything that's in it. Everyone! Let's go! Should be okay if we fight like this. Definitely breaking these guys down. Taurus arms, but there's no gems associated, sadly. And another rare thing. What's this? Second retro diode. Can't wait to see the looks on the faces in Colony 6. I guess not. Alright, so that's a decent start. And there's also something up there, but I'm gonna wait. Oh, there's something up here. Yeah, I want to go back down the cylinder because obviously I'm skipping a phase here. So we'll head back on down and get back with the quest line. We can always use this again later. We can always come back to this again later and see if there's anything else that we skipped. Because I do want to get back to where we're expected to be. Okay. Now the question becomes, how do we get over there? Or are we required to go up in order to go back down? Yeah, that, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, I may be required to go up in order to go back down. So I don't think- it's actually probably not a mere coincidence that we're 
using the cylinder to get from point A to point B. Thing is, though, is there a way to connect the two points from where we currently are? Because, yeah, we can't get over there quite. Unless we go... Unless we're able to climb one tier in order to get to where we need to be, but that doesn't appear to be the case. It's like so agonizingly close, and we can't get there. Alright, I guess it's obvious that we're required to use this, and we have to find the access switch somewhere else on this floor. Yeah, I don't- I don't want to do anything unless it's absolutely necessary and- oh, okay. Achievement Honest Insight. Hey, whatever works, right? Okay. Yeah, if it works, I won't complain about it. Now we have to get through the next line of defense in order to more than likely raise the area higher. Yeah, we, po we probably have to bring the quest icon lift to us rather than us go to it. It's probably what they're trying to encourage us to do. We can't lose! Good right. Let us hurry there onward. we go. Should be okay if we fight like this. F attack boosters. I'm guessing by the name alone, it's meant for Fiora. Yeah. So they would jump her ether defense quite a bit, but she's losing a lot on the other stats. Yeah, and it doesn't have the um, boosts that are required, so... As in, here, there's gems for you to use, so... I guess we might as well just keep looking, but the, that's gonna be... Oh, hello there. Yeah, I was thinking that looked further away, but it actually wasn't. Well, then let's deal with it. Whoa. Trying to be a troll, huh? Well... We can't have that now, can we? Alright, that takes care of you. And now... Ooh, you're a 59 and... You're probably gonna be quite a pain. Based on previous experiences with similar enemies that look like you. Because we did- I did see some in Sword Valley. This is the power. So I am expecting a lot of pain and suffering to come to this thing. Oh, I'll agree with that. Um, I can wait until the next turn to give a heal to Fiora. Alright. Let's go with this. Fiora, your turn. My turn. Alright. Oh, she can regenerate. Okay, well, actually, that's a good idea. Hang on. We're not finished. Okay, my turn. Well, then take this. It's not over yet. My turn. Yeah, let's go ahead and shock your system. Bravo. Or not. Perfect. Yeah, there's the regeneration I needed. Oh, but Shulk's in trouble, and he is gonna die, and there's no way to revive him. Well, crap. Okay, we got back to where we were. We're obviously going to ignore these guys for now, but... In the most recent battle that I just had off-camera, 
um, we were able to pick up some two brand new pieces of equipment, which I've given both of them to Shulk. Plus, I also got a piece that I gave to Melia. So Shulk got this Agrius plate, which when I saw it, I was like, whoa, a tier 6 gem? You better believe I'm giving him that. Plus, I also equipped him with the Lock-On Resist 4. Meanwhile, Melia got this Alcy on top, and I've given her an auto heal up four gem to go with it. So yeah, both of our um, people are doing pretty well, as well as um, Fiora, of course. But yeah, we're definitely moving things in the right direction, and we are definitely getting ourselves further along. Now, obviously, I'm gonna fight you, so I might as well get this out of the way right now, or just stop attacking, stop attacking. Yeah, he decided to retreat because he knew exactly who he was going to have to deal with. <laughs> yeah, like, are you really sure you want to take that chance? We can't lose. No, I'll fight you instead. And let this go. Bye! Yeah, hit you with everything I've got. Alright, you're down. And now for your little friends. Okay, you're almost down. And so are you. Okay, go. So, we got all the way here. The, the lift device that can be seen below is the lift activation device. Which must be this. Or allows us to do this, okay. Well, at least they spelled it out for me. You're like, we're blatantly telling you where you can find what you require next. But yeah, I was right. This is exactly what I suspected. This is exactly what I suspected was going to happen, and lo and behold, it did. So now we're on this side. Nothing suspicious over here. So, turn it on. And away we go. Alright. Up a little further. Now take this path. And start climbing. Now, where will this position us? Wait a minute, is this where we just came from? It might be, yeah. Oh, unless we... Oh yeah, that's right, of course. Yeah, we're doing this for a reason. Yeah, there's a very specific reason why we're doing what we're doing. And higher up we go. Alright, use the third floor master power panel to get the bulkhead control panel working. Alright. Well, let's at least check the area around, see if we can find a way to get access to those ether extraction spots, but I don't think we're going to be able to get it from where we currently are. So instead, we'll just forge on. Yeah, I'll get myself a little further along, see what we can find, see what we're up against. Well, not much so far, because we're going to have to do more climbing. Oh, hello there. Yeah, keep up with the ascent, and let's see what happens next. Okay, left or right? Well, we can climb further if we go up here, which may be our only recourse. Unless they'll allow us to go this way to an extent. Well, there was something here, but it was something I've already obtained. And then over on this side... 
Oh, there is something. I believe I've already obtained that thing, but I haven't officially added it to the Collectopedia. Also, I didn't even realize I picked that up at some point. Lightning attack four. <coughs> okay. Time to climb. Okay, we're further up now. Don't want to go around the sides there. Want to play it safe here. Oh, landmark achieved. Okay, so obviously we gotta go that way, but what's over here? Um... Yeah, something that looks very imposing. We can't lose. Might as well give it a go. No mercy. Might as well see what's over on this side. Plus also I don't believe I've faced you yet. Oh. Ah, maximum. Maximum on that. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I healed. Yeah, that is gonna hurt. Um. What can I stop you from doing? Oh, he killed it. All right. Yeah, at that point, that point it was pretty much a race. Let's see if I could kill it fast enough, and we won that race. Okay, you're over there, but I know that you're gonna double back. Also, this, yeah, there you are. And we're level sixty. And also, this is... Yeah, it's it's definitely bigger than I thought. Okay, so we're ultimately trying to get over there. So it was a good idea to move the way we were. Also, I've never seen you before. I expect nothing short of our very best. I'm gonna go all out. Yeah, you think you've seen all the enemies around here, but no, they've brought out some more stuff for us to fight. And down you go. Right, let's keep going. So yeah, it turns out it was the right decision to go this way, but I might be blocked out by the screw. Right. And we'll also deal with this sound-sensitive mechon. Oh, but look at everything I have to get through in order to move on in this section. Alright. Nice oh, chain attack time. Maybe. Yeah. Let's deal with this honey. And since we have a summon elemental option, yeah, take that. Take this. You got that right. Load up. Boom. Keep it up. Um, let's burn you. You must suffer more. My turn. Later. That was great, yeah, 60,000 points. Good Not job. And there's the finisher. Oh, time for more of this. Pa pow Bring it on. Yeah, these guys aren't that bad. And down you go. Okay, skill learned. Okay, skill trees. So yeah, that should max out Fiora. Oh no, it doesn't. She still has to gain 
this. All stats buff at start of battle with high level monsters. Yeah, I definitely want that one. And then we're definitely going to need to want to move over here as soon as we can. Alright. Forging on. Okay, yeah, something's really conveniently close by. In fact, there's quite a few of them. Okay, then. Ring it! Oh, wait a minute. These are powerful enemies. Oh, no! Oh, what did I run into? Okay. I underestimated this. Well, let's see if we can't feed him. Alright, down you go. Then break this. Oh, chain, chain. Go for the chain, go for the chain. Load up. Um... Yeah, might as well give this a go. Um. Yeah, paralyze it. Even though I've already done so, but we need damage. Load up. You're dead. Now we're this way. Witness my true power. You must suffer more. Keep on going. My turn. Break this amorous. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we did it. Oh, meanwhile, there's still enemies over here. Fiora. Nice one. Inspiring. I shall keep my Fiora alive. I'm gonna go all out. Oh. Yeah. yeah, gotta get gotta get the trick out of the equation. Alright. And we can chain again. Right. Then do it. Don't ask for an invitation, just go! Use this! Okay, it's right in front of her. So just break it. Ooh, nice move, Fiora! Girl, you're showing them skills! Also, Naked Glow 5? Nice job! A Machina Sniper, a Machina Nibbler, and an Agni Plates. As well as some Alcyon Gloves, those will go to the, um, Malia, obviously. Okay, so we'll take the Ether Defense off here, put this on here. Okay. Yeah, in fact, we don't need to worry about the... Um, actually, maybe I should. Yeah, Ether Protects. I'll need to get a Tier 4 at some point. Hopefully. Also, I was able to pick up these Sneak Sandals. I forgot to... I neglected to mention that I've got these as well from Killing Enemies. Oh, also I want to see what this Agni Plate is about. I doubt that it's going to be dropped, because, yeah, it's not that much of a gain, but I get spike ability, and whoa. Let's pass this over to Rhine. Yeah, give him something to wear. And that's only spike three. <laughs> wow. Also, everyone's now at level 60. Oh yeah, you look nothing short of intimidating, but we've seen you before already. We can't lose! Alright, they're down. And help ourselves to that. Alright. So here is the next 
thing for us to turn on. And we'll make sure to do that. Alright. Turn it on. So now, that turns that on. Oh, wait a minute. Is it right in front of us? It is. All right, then. Yeah, we're definitely getting a lot more than we bargained for in this episode. We are accomplishing a lot. Okay, so down the cylinder we go. There's obviously going to be some very imposing enemies when we hit the bottom. But what we need is over there. Okay. Have to get through those guys as well. Okay. Well, we've been at this for a while, so I think we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. Definitely getting a lot of progress made, and I'm very satisfied with how far we're going. So yeah, when we join you guys again, we are going to be continuing to make our way over to our eventual next destination, wherever that may be, and hopefully we can be able to get these guys beaten as fast as we can in order to progress further. So, with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this Blind Nuts play of Xenoblade Chronicles. And when I join you again, we will continue here through the Mechonis field and see how much more progress we can make. So, thank you very much everyone for watching, and until next time everyone, this is Matthew with Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.